Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today is another day, and today is a Q&A. Fire. I'm just gonna jump right into it. I posted this on my Instagram story yesterday, and I actually got a, quite a few responses, which is pretty awesome. So if you're watching this, thank you for asking me a question. Hopefully I'll be able to get through all of them, but I'm just gonna go rapid fire and just hope for the best. All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with the more easy, quick questions. And so the first one is, what is my favorite snack? So my favorite snack is actually the Trader Joe's chocolate chip cookies that come in like the tub. They're like really small, they just pop them in their mouth and it's like super fast. Love those, they're delicious, I take them everywhere. Favorite boba place and flavor? Here's the thing, I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this, but I'm actually not a boba guy. I don't like boba. I never order it myself anymore. I think I just over drank it and I just started to not like it. But I do get honey milk teas, passion fruit drinks, Seven Leaves is a boba place, but I get their Vietnamese coffee there. That's my answer. My favorite Marvel movie. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Marvel fan and my favorite Marvel movie would have to be either Captain America Civil War or Spider-Man Far From Home. Both of them are amazing. Actually, all of them are amazing, but I think those two would probably be my favorite too. Most recent binge on Netflix. My most recent binge on Netflix actually is Stranger Things. I just finished season one. I know it's 2020, it came out like five years ago, but hey, better late than never. Super good series and I'm hoping to finish season two and three in the next month or so. But yeah, Stranger Things. Good show. Which is my favorite eyebrow? I think it's my, my left one. This is my left one. I think my left one is my favorite eyebrow. What is your favorite song from High School Musical, the musical, the series? So when that show first came out, I was not entirely skeptical because I, I had a feeling that it was going to be good and I was going to watch it regardless. Absolutely loved it. I think my favorite is Just For A Moment when Ricky and Nini sang that song and fantastic show, fantastic song. Absolutely love it. My favorite YouTuber? I think my favorite YouTuber is either, actually I kind of have a few, Thomas Frank. He is an expert on like productivity and so I just watch a lot of his videos on productivity and like reading books and like tips and tricks on how to do things. Matt Diavella also does the same thing. I love watching him, but also vloggers like Jess and Gabe Conti or channels like How Ridiculous. Those are the guys who drop things from the 45 meter tower. Absolutely entertaining, love them. Favorite Star Wars moment? Um, I'm a big Star Wars fan too. I think my favorite moment would ha probably have to be Obi-Wan and Anakin's fight on Mustafar. Pretty intense, action-packed. I don't know, I kind of randomly memorized that entire scene. Pretty awesome. Love it. My Enneagram. When I first took the test, I actually tested as a three wing two. I retook it, just took it like a month ago, and I actually typed as a nine, nine wing one. Not entirely sure what the whole thing means, but that's what I am. And then the second part of the question is dream place to live and why. I actually do want to live by the beach. So whether that is down in Orange County or here in like Redondo Beach area, Torrance, absolutely love this area. My family's here too. But then if I had to choose somewhere like different, non-United States, it'd probably have to be Japan. That's the only actual place that I've been to that's out of America. But I absolutely adore Japan. Everything about it just makes me so happy and I want to go back so bad. I would have to buy a big house because everything in Japan is small. I feel like I could do it. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one year. We'll see. My favorite TikTok user? So I'm on TikTok a lot and I think my favorite user would probably have to be Jenna and Seth Pry. It's run on Jenna's account, um, but they're brother, sister, and I don't know, they're absolutely hilarious. My favorite TV shows? As you can see, I'm wearing Star Labs sweatshirt. I really did love The Flash, except now it's getting kind of weird. Um, I still watch it, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites anymore. My all-time favorite TV show is Avatar Last Airbender, and it's making a big comeback on Netflix. Everyone's watching it. Super great. If you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. This Is Us. This Is Us is... I would have to say New Girl. New Girl is absolutely hilarious. It would have to be Avatar Last Airbender, This Is Us, and New Girl. What is my major? I'm going to be a senior at APU next year, and I am a public relations major with a graphic design minor. All right, now we're moving into some not deep questions, but deeper than those ones. So based off that last question, I got a few questions of what do you see yourself doing after college, or what is your... Um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And what is your dream job? You know, all great questions that I don't necessarily know the answer to. I am very passionate about many things, many of which I don't know if can be a full-time career, but you know, 
the art of growing up. I'm super excited to see what I can do after college and hopefully in 10 years, you know, I'll be 31. Wow, I'll be 31. So hopefully have a job, family, and you know, just living, living a great life. We'll see. Don't really know what that looks like yet, but that's what it is. All right, my guys. Trey and Taylor asked me these two questions. Unfortunately, I do not have an answer to that because you know, I'm just living my best life at home. Again, self-development, that's where it's at. Trying to make the best of myself so that when I do get into a relationship, I'll be the best version of myself that I can be. That's my goal. Yep, thanks for asking that, guys. Next question is... Oh. Oh. Stop it. Next question is recommendations for people wanting to get into graphic design. Great question. I think that everyone has the capability of doing graphic design. Um, the reason why I got into it is because I took a graphic design course as my RGE before I even added the minor. Absolutely love the course and then added the minor and have not regretted it since. It is a lot of work and it's very time consuming, but I would say it's pretty therapeutic and I really do enjoy it. I think the biggest factor is try it out first with some basic class, introductory class, see if you can do it. There's also payments for Adobe if you guys use Adobe. Try it out first, see if you like it. Personally, I really enjoy it. I may not be the best at it, but I do love creating and that's one of the best things that I can possibly do as a graphic design minor. All right, the next question is, what new slash old fun hobbies do you have? In this time of quarantine, I have developed a few new hobbies one of which is content creating, whether it be on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, a lot of fun stuff. Still getting used to the whole thing, but having a lot of fun doing it. I still like playing sports. I don't do it a whole lot now, but in the fall, if we do go back to school, I'll be taking three fitness for life slash PE courses. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'm starting to like to read. Not my favorite thing still, but reading is really good for me. Just hanging out, having a good time. Hobby. Sure. What keeps me motivated? I think the thing that keeps me motivated to do things is knowing that I'm doing it for other people and not myself. Whether that be for school, it's YouTube, you know, keeping me motivated to do weekly videos. It's because I promised my viewers that I'm going to have a new video every week. The one thing that definitely keeps me inspired and motivated is, you know, God put me here for a reason and I'm here to do his work on this earth. Janelle said drop your skincare routine. Janelle, well, here's the thing. In my last video, I did uh, what I do every day and part of that was getting ready, obviously. I don't actually do too much. It's just a quick water wash with this acne spot treatment. It kind of like dries out your skin. Sounds kind of bad, but that's what I use because my skin is actually super oily. If you guys can see, I'm really shiny. I don't know why, but that treatment has helped me a lot, and that's really the only thing I do. <laughs> my workout routine. So as you can see, I'm super huge. Yeah. What I do every morning is I get up at 8, and then usually go on a run about 9 o'clock. I run just a quick 1 to 2 miles, and then, and then at night I do a, a workout. So I usually do CrossFit workouts. I think they're a lot of fun, and the results aren't immediate, obviously. You gotta keep working at it. I've been doing it for about a month now, but CrossFit workouts, where it's at. My cousin, Brianne, asked, what is one of your favorite childhood memories with your cousin? So on my mom's side, there's seven of us grandchildren, three of which in my family, and then four in my mom's sister's family. I think the one thing that stands out to me the most as children is going to Disneyland every year. My grandma actually bought us Disneyland passes for every single one of us in her family for a good amount of time. You know, it wasn't a thousand dollars to go to Disneyland. You know, and going with family was always super special. At the hotels, we met AJ Raphael at Disneyland. We rode our first roller coasters together. So yeah, I think Disneyland together with family is always a good time and one of the greatest things that sticks out to me as I think about our childhood. What are my favorite colors and how do they make me feel? See, I like the darker tones. Navy blue, maroon, forest green. They make me feel calm. They make me feel good. So what am I most looking forward to as an RA? For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be a freshman RA at APU next year and I'm super excited for it. The one thing that I'm excited for most is actually the fact that I get to help them transition from a rough senior year into college. As you all know, their senior year was cut short and it wasn't what they had seen and now they're coming into college with a bunch of new people that they don't know they might not even want to come to college and so that's the one thing that i'm really looking forward to is being able to be that connection from their high school years to their college years my camera battery died so we're back where was i all right so two questions regarding this one was from 
Joe and the other one from Kaylee. Basically, it is what are the changes that I've seen in my life since giving my life up to God. And I like what Joe said of truly accepted Christ. And I think that's a big part of my faith is because I actually became a Christian when I was five. But then I kind of went through the motions throughout my entire life. Then kind of senior year to going into college was when I truly accepted Christ and my faith as my own. And so a big part of me that has changed is that, you know, I tend to not worry about things too much, whether that be the future or like certain events that are happening, such as what's going on right now, because I know that God's got it. And I think that's part of who I am as well, because one of my top strengths is positivity and optimism. I'm really an optimistic person because I believe that God is the main impact. So I say that's the biggest thing that has changed in me is my outlook on life. Yeah, God's got it. Um, I don't need to worry about it because I know that it'll all work out for his glory. What has been my biggest highlight at AP so far? I think the biggest highlight that I've had the opportunity and blessing to be a part of was Alpha, the Alpha program, which is basically freshman and transfer orientation leaders. And basically, sophomore year, I was an Alpha leader, which is basically the leader of 10 new students. And I met with them weekly for the first semester just to ease their transition from high school to college. That was really a great experience. And then last year, I had the opportunity of being an AC leader, alpha coordinator. I got to lead a group of alpha leaders, moved up a little, and that was a big blessing within itself. Totally different lessons learned, but overall, biggest blessing of APU. And I have met some of my best friends through that program, so... That is definitely my highlight of APU. I think I answered all these questions. If I didn't and ended up taking them out during the editing process, I am so sorry. But I think I answered them all. Just thank you so much for your time. Um, I hope you learned a little more about me. And for next Q&A, just follow my Instagram and then you'll be able to ask me questions. Or if you guys want to comment down below any questions you have for me, I'll be sure to answer them or address them in another video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.